A video of a Russian T-90M tank getting destroyed was published a couple of days ago and it quickly started circling around on Twitter, Reddit and other platforms. But I'm sorry to break it to you, the tank getting destroyed is not a T-90M. Yes, the footage does start with a T-90M, but there is a lot of editing done in that video to make it seem like it is the actual T-90M tank from the beginning getting destroyed, but in reality it is a different tank at a different time. Let me explain. The video starts off with the Russian T-90M tank firing at something we cannot see. Then, after it is done, it turns around, because of its abysmal reverse speed, and starts moving away from that position. Then, it might seem that the tank continues going until the end, but there is a cut, and at this cut, the tank completely changes. So does the time. At first, I wanted to compare the shadows to see if the time has advanced, and if so, by how much, but then I realized it's a completely different weather, at the start it is sunny and we can see shadows, but when it cuts, it is suddenly cloudy and no shadows can be seen. This would suggest that at least a couple of hours passed, or at least enough time for clouds to completely cover the area. It could even be a completely different day, anything is possible. Then if we take a closer look at the tank, it is anything but the T-90M. The turret is much smaller, we can see that the T-90M turret is as wide as the hull of the tank, well, that is not the case with this tank. There is no remote weapon station on the roof, no bustle at the back, nothing. The tank also appears to have visible fording tube at the rear of the turret, which T-90M does not have. On top of that, the tank is facing the front. Yeah, that is right, in this instance, the tank is facing towards the camera, and the video is most definitely reversed, since this is the front of the tank. No Russian or Ukrainian tank can reverse this fast unless it's the Ukrainian T-84, but it isn't. So, on top of it being a completely different tank, they reversed the video to make it seem like the tank is reversing, so people would believe it is a T-90M tank from earlier. By the way, the way I know this is the front of the tank is because there is a clear slope of the armor and the mudguards are missing, exposing the tracks. But if it was the rear, tracks wouldn't be so exposed, since those tanks have storage boxes and external fuel tanks, so even if mudguards broke, tracks would not be so visible. Not to mention that front guards missing is not a very rare thing to happen on these older models. On T-90M, they are attached to the tank much better. That is because they have integrated ERA elements. At the end, the tank is actually moving away, but that even gives us more info on why it is not the T-90M. First of all, we can see that the tracks are now much more covered. Then there is no APU on the back. We can see the sides of the hull are only partially covered, since most of the hull sides of T-90M are covered with ERA, and the rest with cage armor. We can also see that the engine deck is completely exposed, and visible from the top. T-90M's turret does not allow for that, the rear turret bustle almost completely covers that area. To me, this seems more like either T-64 BV or T-80 BV tank, because of the visible fording tube and what appears to be a flat engine deck. So yeah, this is not a T-90M tank. I'm not trying to say that T-90M is this invincible tank or something, as I keep saying in my videos, it is just as vulnerable as any other Russian tank, but trying to fake the destruction of one, and it actually fooling a lot of people, just doesn't sit right with me. That would be all, if you like my content you can support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.